you wanted a live one, you'd get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. All right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on! Come on! So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. Hold on! you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years, but I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, 
Not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figure that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Ox got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. See you.
that's all of them. I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. The bounty. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. <laughs> You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of them. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit them up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... Irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Eddie's cup. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. Yes, ma'am. St. John. This is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, I... ain't this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? 
Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal. It's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm gonna have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I gotta need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests, get any Molotovs. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Uh, Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. hear you, though. You're breaking up. Gosh, this damn cave, man. I'm surprised it's in the town at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah. where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when I got over the line. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. The fight and platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tool. Shit, I gotta go. Ready to when you get there. We're out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. O'Brien? Come in, O'Brien. I know you were in this chair. <laughs> Drifter? I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, he turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. Incredible, the odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. She's being held by uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay. But there's something you have to do for us first. Name it. I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Hey, O'Brien. O'Brien! Damn it! Drifter, are you there? O'Brien! Okay, where the hell have you been? O'Brien out. O'Brien. O'Brien, oh, no. Jesus, he's... Oh, damn it. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. 
Anarchists. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I marked the position he was last seen on the map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. This is it. <laughs> Still got this. Oh yeah, that's him. Yes. Okay, Myers. Uh, I to tell you. Extra piece, but... Oh boy, you don't want any of that. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating, some faster than others. Uh -huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Tell me about this freak you're tracking. We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and, and other... 
You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Oh, Brian. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would. Say, John, out. Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking, is there something you haven't told me? Not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. Flare. 
gotta be another one of O'Brien's men. Hello? Can you hear me? Move an arm or something, if you can hear me. Arm? Uh, nope. Just gotta find a way over there. Brian, I found another one of your men. Heidi says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. This radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Another flare. There, there's the last one. How am I gonna get to him? Maybe down here? Yeah, yeah. Brian, uh, yeah, found a good one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, that's so great. Go, Brian. Good for you. That doesn't look good. Oh, shit. What the hell happened? O'Brien, oh, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, no! Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, uh, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Come in! Sorry, shoot! Move up! Keep down! Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no! Well, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? I'm so fast. I didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper, Cooper, are you there? Jen? Uh, I'm here. I can hear I you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, 